Hello viewers, in this video we will see computation of items of financial statement using this ratio analysis. Yes, we will see one problem. From the following information, find out current asset, current liability, stock and fixed assets. Okay, in our previous video itself, we know how to find this current assets, current liabilities and stock. Okay, those who didn't see that video, you just see that video. current ratio is 2.5, liquid ratio 1.5, fixed asset by proprietary fund 0.75, working capital 60,000, reserves and surplus 40,000, bank overdraft 10,000, there is no long term loan or fictitious asset. Okay, in this problem it is clearly mentioned that there is no long term loan and fictitious asset. Okay. Using this information, we have to find the current assets, current liability, stock and fixed assets. Okay, let's start doing the problem. First, we'll start with this current ratio. Current assets divided by current liabilities is the current ratio and it is given it is 2.5. So, this shows current asset is 2.5 and current liability is 1. We saw this in our previous video, no? Okay, similar way we are going to work out this. And... We have a clue that is the working capital 60,000. So, we have to find what is the proportion of this working capital. See, current assets minus current liability is the working capital. So, 2.5 minus 1 will get 1.5. This is the proportion of working capital. 1.5 is the proportion of working capital. And the value of this 1.5 is 60,000. Okay. Then, we can easily find out what is the value of this 2.5 proportion and this 1 proportion, okay. First, we will find this 2.5, just a cross multiplication, okay, 60,000 into 2.5. We are going to find out this 2.5 proportion, no. So, we will write it in the numerator and in denominator, we will write this 1.5, that is working capital's proportion, will get 1 lakh. This is the value of current assets. The similar way, we have to find out the current liabilities. And the proportion of current liability is 1. Okay, we found it. Okay, so 60,000 into 1 divided 1.5 will get 40,000. This is the current liabilities. Okay, using this current assets and current liability, we have to find out the value of stock. Okay, see the liquid ratio is 1.5. Yes, liquid assets divided by current liability equal to 1.5. Here, the liquid asset is 1.5 and current liability is 1. Yes, and the value of this 1 is 40,000. So, value of 1 is 40,000. And now, we have to find what is the value of this 1.5. That is the liquid assets. Okay, we will get 60,000 is the liquid assets. And... The formula to find out the stock is current assets minus liquid assets. We found this current asset that is 1 lakh and we found this liquid asset is 60,000. So, we will get stock 40,000. Okay, the value of stock is 40,000. And now, we have to find this fixed asset. Okay, using this we have to find the fixed asset. We will see how to do that. Fixed asset divided by proprietary fund is equal to 0.75. Okay. And this shows that fixed asset is 0.75 and proprietary fund is 1. Okay. Let's assume this proprietary fund is equal to X. That is the 1 is equal to X. Okay. And you know very well that assets is equal to liabilities. Right. Assets is equal to liabilities and this liability comprises of shareholders funds, long term debt and current liabilities. Okay, this liability is classified into shareholders fund, long term debt and current liabilities and this assets into fixed asset, current assets and fictitious asset. Okay, in this problem we are going to find this fixed asset okay and for that the information given in this problem is current liability we found that is 40,000 and current asset also we found that is 1 lakh and it is given clearly there is no long term loan. So, I have put 0 for long term debt and no fictitious asset. So, for that also we will put 0 
okay and we said that proprietary fund is equal to x so for proprietary fund is nothing but shareholders fund okay for shareholders fund i have written x here okay and this fixed asset is nothing but 0.75 of that x okay because uh, it is 1 and fixed asset is 0.75 so this means 0.75 x okay so i have written it here and we'll bring this x to one side and the constant number to one side okay so i'll bring this uh, 0.75 x to the left hand side we'll get x minus 0.75 we'll get 0.25 x okay and here 1 lakh minus 40,000 so we'll get 60,000 and now we have to find out the value of this x so we'll divide the 60,000 by 0 0.25 we'll get x is equal to 2 lakh 40,000 x is nothing but the proprietary fund okay the value of proprietary fund is 2 lakh 40,000 and we know that uh, fixed asset is 0 0.75x no so we can easily find out the fixed asset now see fixed asset equal to 0 0.75x so 0 0.75 into the value of x is 2 lakh 40,000 so if we substitute we will get 1 lakh 80,000 this is the fixed asset okay we can check this by preparing a balance sheet okay see current assets is 1 lakh current liability we found it's 40,000 and stock also we found it is 40,000 and proprietary fund we found it is 2 lakh 40,000 and fixed asset we found it's 1 lakh 80,000 okay using this we'll prepare a balance sheet then you come to know whether we found the items correctly or not okay first i have written all the information given in the balance sheet okay reserves and surplus is there in balance sheet information 40,000 so i have written it here and bank overdraft is given so 10,000 i have written here okay and the remaining things we have to write proprietary fund is nothing but your share capital and reserves and surplus okay and together it is 2 lakh 40,000 i mean share capital plus reserves and surplus is 2 lakh 40,000 and in the problem it is clearly given that reserves and surplus is 40,000 so obviously this share capital will be 2 lakh okay uh, this current liability is nothing but your bank overdraft plus your liquid liabilities no in the problem it is given that bank overdraft is 10,000 so we found current liability is 40,000 so this plus this will give 40 so if it is 10,000 the liquid liabilities will be 30,000 okay and next I have written this uh, fixed asset fixed asset is 1,80,000 so I have written it here and stock also we found that also I will write it here and liquid assets that is the liquid asset plus stock will get the current assets no the current asset value is 1 lakh so if the stock is 40,000 the remaining is the liquid asset that is 60,000 we already found this too okay so 60,000 is the liquid assets okay you can check the balance sheet total is 2 lakh 80,000 both the sides okay yes I hope now you can able to find out the items of financial statement and you can able to prepare this balance sheet right I have given you a similar problem for you to practice. Thank you for your patient listening.